what's up guys this is pro warriors in this video we are going to show you how to set up the dolphin emulator on pc so that we can play nintendo gamecube and nintendo wii games on our pc and laptop please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button At first, let me introduce Dolphin Emulator. We all know that the GameCube and Wii were the sixth generation Nintendo gaming system. It was a family popular console for its best features and unique game collections. Sad to say that both the Nintendo GameCube and Nintendo Wii are not dead. Thanks to Dolphin Emulator, which can run thousands of GameCube and Wii ROMs, and this software is available on Windows, Mac OS. Linux operating system as well as Android. Let's turn our computer into a Nintendo console. At first, open a browser on your computer, then type on the URL for dolphin-mo.org. I will leave the direct link in the description. Let's go ahead and head over to the link, then click on the download Dolphin. On the next page, you will find all the versions of Dolphin emulator but separated by beta and developer. Developer version are the most recent update but beta is stable and so we will download the beta Beta version, the Dolphin emulator requires the latest version of Microsoft Visual C++. If you are not sure your PC has already this and then go ahead download and install it. When I am recording this video, the current version is 5.0-20347. Here you can see the Dolphin emulator is available to download for Windows, Mac OS and Android. If you scroll down, you will also get the the dolphin for linux so download the emulator according to your operating system i'm going to installing it on my windows machine so i'm just going to click on the windows x64 button here and it will immediately start downloading the exe file the size of the file is just 15 megabytes once the download is finishes we will need to extract the file because it comes with in a zip if you don't have any extractor on your pc you can download the 7 zip which is a reliable and free zip extractor let's right click on the file then go to 7 zip then extract the file once it's done extracting you will get the folder containing all the extracted files i'm going to drag and paste the folder on my desktop and closing the window now open the folder you can see a few files here but we need just one file which is named as dolphin double click on it to learn the dolphin so guys we are now on the dolphin emulator now close the file because we don't need any more before we are going to install any games we need to configure some settings and controls so click on the config button which is at the top bar here only thing we have to check is the speed limit which is default 100% but we can go up to 200% so that the emulator can use the maximum resources of our machine you can also check the auto update option by default it's selected beta once a month which means it will update automatically after every month you can also select the dev multiple times a day if you want to always use the latest version but sometimes it creates issues or you can select don't update if you don't want any updates at all if you want to change the language theme or styles you will find in the interface now let's go to the graphics under the option of general you will see backend here you have a few popular renderer like opengl direct 2d direct 3d vulcan i'm going to select the opengl for the best performance if your pc doesn't have a graphics card or your games are struggling then you may want to come back here and try vulcan for expect ratio we are going to select force at 16 is to 9 it's preferred if you want to play on full screen but the actual expect ratio of gamecube is 4 is to 3 in some case some games may look like a little stretched but still i prefer to play on 16 by 9 instead of 4 by 3 now go ahead and check the box to turn on 
be synced. This will make sure you have no screen tearing and also make sure starting full screen is checked. So every time you start a game, the game will start in full screen automatically. Now go down here at the bottom and make sure you have checked the compile shaders before starting. This will prevent your game from shuttering during gameplay and it will load all your shaders before you load the game. Now let's go over to the enhancement section. For the internal resolution, you can go up to 5K. My recommendation is to always use the native display resolution. I have a 1080p monitor, so I'm going to stick with 1920 by 1080. If you want to smooth out jacked edges and improve image quality, then you can turn on anti-aliasing. Remember that the higher you go the more demanding the emulator will be on your system and the same thing goes for texture filtering you could turn this on if you would like but the higher you go once again the more demanding it will be on your system so you can try around the both option if you would like to see how your performance is but i prefer to leave them both default now it's time to configure the controls you can see port 1 2 3 for different controllers profile just click on configure the default control method is set to keyboard if you want to change the keys just click on it and put your desired keys on the control but i found the default keys to be perfect if you have any external controller you should to turn on always connected option when you are all done with that go ahead and click on save button now back to the main screen so finally it's time has come to load a game to add games on dolphin emulator double click on the add new game directory options it will open your file manager just navigate to the file where you have stored gamecube or wii roms so guys you can see that i have already stored some gamecube roms now many of us will be afraid which games i should download and from where i downloaded them it's very simple before downloading any roms i make sure that these games are playable or not i have given a link in the description that is the compatibility game list of dolphin emulator here you will get thousands of roms that are playable on dolphin emulator you just have to manage the gcm iOSO file of that game if you need any type of help join our discord server and i will definitely like to help you after downloading the file make sure you have unzipped the file then store the rooms on a dedicated folder after that click on save your games should be displaying in the game library once your game are populated feel free to open them and play them the time has come let's launch the game and play you can see Hitman 2 Assassins is now running on my computer. If you take a look here, it's running at full speed with a decent frame rates. Dolphin is still under development. If you are running an old PC, you might have some issues. Dolphin has a long way to go and I hope in future this emulator can run the most recent and high quality games. That's it guys. See you in the next video. Take care.